another parcel. Today we're going to be seeing if a Chinese eBay $20 carburetor works on any small engine. We're going to be testing it out for the first time and giving my first and honest review on these things. So I have many pieces of equipment. I've got this Mazport mower, the two Hondas, I've got some trimmers and things like that from a steel Shindewa and Husqvarna. I also got this Honda pressure cleaner. It's a GCV160 engine on the Honda pressure cleaner. Most of this equipment I got brand new, however this one I got second hand. Now from day one with my pressure cleaner it's been really reliable, however there has been one problem. You see the previous owner didn't really use it and so it was in storage for over 12 months just sitting there not doing anything with fuel in the carburetor. That meant that the carburetor gummed up, not clean, sediment in the carburetor, all the holes and pipes and things like that were blocked out. So I had to pull it apart, completely clean it out. However, one thing I've noticed is that looking at different videos as well, these carburetors on the GCV 160 Honda engines seem to be the weak spot. See a lot of you, especially in the comment section below on a, on a couple of my other videos talking about this pressure cleaner, some of you have mentioned that the jet for the stock standard GCV 160 engines are slightly too small for what they need to be. So one of you suggested that I should stick in a cheap $20 eBay carburetor. That is exactly what I'm going to do and see how it works out. So to start with, let's see how the pressure cleaner is running with the original Honda carburetor. So as we can see, the motor's still got the hunting idle, so we're going to be taking it all apart, replacing the carburetor and seeing how it runs afterwards. So without further ado, let's get straight into taking this thing apart.
kind of have to feed each of the screws through and line line it up so the the gaskets all line up with the um with everything it's a really hard motor and carburetor to put back on other engines are made much more simpler without so many components so before properly tightening it up you just need to make sure that all these gaskets and everything line up and then you can tighten these two up properly so we've just got it all back in place we've got the new carburetor on all the gaskets in line nice and tight so hopefully it will work okay but let's uh let's turn this on for the first time and see how it runs so firstly we're going to turn the fuel on wait a couple of minutes for that ball to fill up in the carburetor turn the choke on turn the on switch on we're going to put the same air filter on so we're checking only the carburetor to see if that was the thing that needed replacing To be honest, I'm actually quite surprised with the results. Much to my surprise, the engine is running beautifully compared to how it was before with the hunting idle. Um, the $20 Chinese aftermarket carburetor fixed it, so now it runs just fine. And to all you people who commented in the comment section below to try out the $20 carburetors from eBay, I thank you very much because, as you can tell, made the world of difference, runs and idles smoothly, pressure cleaner works, problem solved. And I'd definitely recommend it if you are experiencing uh, your motor with a hunting idle, especially the GCV160 engines because they seem to have that problem. But uh, if you would like to buy one for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description to where I got mine from. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's quick video and if you did, leave us a like. And as always, subscribe to the channel for more videos all about lawn care. My name is Hayden and I shall catch you in the next one.